I'm gonna repair my exhaust on um, this 2005 Honda Odyssey. Um, coming out of the manifold where the hanger, you know, is welded on. Well, that broke and then it, it's rusted out and there's a hole. So what I'm gonna do is drive it up on some ramps and, um, and fix this. And it should be an easy fix. This should take 10 minutes, I think. Here, Destiny, will you hold this? So I'm going to... Um, what? What? Which... Do I turn it? You can. There you go. I'm going to put some ramps out here. It's a beautiful day. I do not feel comfortable doing this at all, like not even. The plastic ramps, they're uh, rated for. Six thousand pounds per pair. Do not exceed three hundred pounds. Three thousand pounds each. So. Wait, three hundred or three thousand? Three thousand. Okay. <laughs> You'll be fine. That looks pretty sturdy to me. Oh yeah, easy for you to say. You're not crawling underneath it. True it's, that. It's just, it's a lot of weight, you know. It's like. They're, they're made to do this, but still, like, it's, it makes me uneasy. I'm not going to be under there that long. It has to be done. It's, it's not going to uh, pass inspection. It might not pass inspection anyway. So I'm going to... Um, it up halfway I think you should go up more. So you did it. It's a bit uneven, but it's a little uneven on this side. But I don't think it would matter. Yeah. So I, I set the parking brake, but um, we don't want it to roll back. So I'm going to put a couple things behind the tire. Let's throw this back there. Wow. That's innovation. Um, I got it. I got some other stuff I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw this under here. So if some if something happens, it might give me a little bit more time. More reaction time, yes. yeah. Think it, thinking yeah, ahead. It'll probably deform.
Yeah. Okay, we'll take the jack. I'll throw the jack behind the other tire. And then we have a, another milk crate. Yeah, I would say this looks great. So what? I'll say this looks pretty good. And then... It's foolproof. I've this one is pretty cut. I'm going to take wire with me. I have, um, I have four hose clamps. I'm taking the wire underneath with me. And I got a um, flat headed screwdriver. So this, this ought to do it. Now I'm going to go into the front. So if it does roll back, I'll show you what I'm doing. Boy, it's hot under here. See that right there? So I'm going to cover this. And then I'm also going to put a hose clamp down on top of this. So that the, the hanger is still going to function. Okay? You could probably get... Did you show me on camera? What? That's so bad. I'm sorry that you guys have a scene. Come over here on this side. Which side? Like uh, over there on that tire. Like you see. So you could probably get me. Let me grab the stuff. Yeah, bird's eye view. Did you just get me on camera? That's so beautiful. I'm man. so embarrassed. I'm try, try and use the, the biggest piece. It probably is too big. So I'm going to try a smaller piece. Do it like this. You see my art. Oh yeah. It's about perfection. It's gonna be perfect. That's why everything, every last little thing must be perfect. Go. You, you gonna tape it up? Uh, well, I'm not gonna use tape. Why not? Uh, because tape would burn and it's not gonna hold. I'm gonna use um, clamps. Gonna oh, use clamps. smart. So I have uh, four, four different hose clamps. Um, two are automotive, so they're real strong. And two of them are uh, for a dryer vent. These things are real hard to even cut with a grinder. So um, I'm gonna do one over this.
and maybe one uh, dryer vent one over this too and then maybe use one of the stainless steel ones to uh, uh, hook up the dirt in my eye. Ah, shit. Should have brought you some glasses. I got them. Where are they? They're over here. You want me to grab them? I got them. Put them on, you don't want metal in your eye. Now, some, some people do this and they, they use a, um, they'll use like a, a, a tin can because it's thicker. Like if you use flashing, it's too thin, it, you know, the pressure and everything, it, it just screw up. Now this, this is pretty strong, so it should last longer. Now, I've already done a repair here. So you're just tightening it up so it holds on there? Yeah. I am seeing that um, the one that I did last year is about to go. It's starting to rust through. It's the heat and the water and the salt and everything. I didn't even know that they had it made those with a Phillips head. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, you know, I've always used to the... One of these. I do know that the drier ones are shittier because they don't need to hold any pressure. Yeah, me too. It's like a good day to barbecue. Mm-hmm. I just need this thing to pass. I keep saying I need it to last one more year. How many years has that been going on? Oh, my God. This thing has been falling apart for years. This is the part that sort of worried me, even driving it today. Like, you know, the, uh, the thing that is supposed to support it. Because the more it's like moving around, the more movement you have, the more chance of it just like really screwing up. Right. To, to replace the whole thing is not really labor is not expensive it's the, all the parts together like, like I think you could get a catalytic converter fairly cheap but man it's all fucking screwed up I don't I don't I wish I had a Phillips 
I'm gonna do the car, let me pull out. Let's see. If not, I do feel better about doing this now. Oh, look at you with your little shirt on. I'm just seeing what it says. <laughs> it says, not a shirt. Hoodie. I do not. But, let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Purr, baby, purr. Yeah. Now, I, I do not have a Phillips head, it appears. So, what I'm going to do, the biggest thing was the, the, the part that broke that attaches to, to, there's a weld that attaches onto the, the manifold. So that's where it rusted and that's where it broke. So the thing that holds to the, holds the, the uh, exhaust system to the car that was broken so that's what I was mostly worried about because if it shakes then the whole thing breaks and then you're really screwed right so, um, so that that's good and then I'll just come back later and um, use these with uh, um, yeah with the Phillips and it's fine. I, I feel I feel better about going underneath the car now. That's I don't know. The more you do it, the more you get used to it, or something. In the milk crate, of course, safety first. Yeah. Right, you don't want four thousand pounds falling on your head. <laughs> I, think, I think I left a um, post plant under. Here. Someone said, I have okay. two reindeer head chihuahuas. How do I contact you? What's uh, the best way to con email? Yeah, info at readyourdog.com. Why are you looking for training or tips? Because tips aren't going to do it. I, I have a chihuahua at home. I want a puppy. You want a reindeer head chihuahua? No, I want a beagle. Yeah, or like a basset hound. So it's, I, I can sit on the sofa, I'm probably going to get stuck driving this thing for another year, which I am. Next time it's warm out. Before I go to the inspection, I'm also going to just make this a little bit um, tighter, I think. And maybe replace the, maybe, maybe replace the section that I put on last year. It's fascinating, I know. Is everybody fascinated? Yeah. It's fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. I was going to use this to throw into the car, too, but that would just... Oh, you were really thinking, like huh? That'd be like an aluminum can. Yeah. It does sound quieter, right? Yeah. But it's still, it'll even be quieter when I get the, I need one on the back. Let's pull this off. No, I do not. Yeah, if it was like had black hair, maybe. I am not. Oh, you said that before. I'm not a Chihuahua. Yeah. You'd be a la Labrador, maybe. No. No. If you were any dog, what would it be? I don't know. I want to be like. A beagle. Yeah. 
What about like an Afghan? Yeah, I want to be something like slender and graceful. Oh, that would be like a Saluki or something. Right? Yeah. Oh, just wow, look at that. Yeah, whoa. I, I don't know why you say that. Like, oh, I don't want to get flying. No, they're cool. I like chihuahuas. There was this thing when I was in Brooklyn. It was like always, I'd always see it like the big dude with the chihuahuas. Mm hmm. No, that's, the, that's the most unbreakable bond on earth. Is it the big dude? And the little dog. Yeah. Well, it's a lot quieter. Next time I put it up on the ramps, I'll All right. I guess, I guess that's it. All right. See you, everybody.